taught me a lot about arts and crafts and uh, one of the things taught me best was how to knit, which I'm still doing to this day. I'm making a living out of it now as well. I took uh, voluntary <laughs> redundancy uh, back in 2012 and I'm now doing this as a full-time business. Knitting jumpers um, for anyone who wants one. <laughs> and I do a lot for business, uh, put like business promotion. Um, I do Christmas jumpers for TV, Gordon Ramsay's film. Did Gordon Ramsay's jumper a couple of years back. Did a jumper for Christmas cook along the show he was doing um, on Christmas Day. And it had um, based turkey now on the front and on the back it had stir gravy now. So whichever he had to do at the time, that's what he showed. And is it, is it um, very expensive? Not really, no, not compared to a lot of uh, websites where you can buy hand knitted stuff. Um, they're at uh, about 300 quid. Mine's anywhere between 50 and 60, something like that. It depends on the style, the wool. Whatever it's knitted in. The complexity of the design as well. Yeah. We have to draw it all out on graph paper make his own patterns and then whatever people want we draw it out and then transpose it into hand knitting so it can be a bit limited because there's only so much you can get on a jumper if somebody wants the full alphabet in one line you know you can't do it because it won't fit on so we've done things we do like, micro knitting oh micro knitting <laughs> yeah we've done things for people's like birthdays anything from a one-year-old up to a, an 80 year old we put yeah. the uh, letters on the front, the name on the front. We've done things for people that get uh, married at Christmas. They sometimes want Mr. and Mrs. on the jumper. So we do a Christmas design and then put Mr. So and So or Brad and Groom. And last um, year we did um, a campaign for McDonald's. Um, we did uh, for their Facebook ca uh, com campaign Christmas jumpers with uh, French fries on one and a Big Mac on the other and they used it on Facebook and it was like a competition, you could win the jumper. That's the most unusual thing you've ever been asked to do. I think the foul mouth poor jumper. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that people, people can have weird. anything they want. Um, <laughs> because Foul mouth, was it? Dirty Fil mouth. Filthy whore mouth. Yeah, a man wanted this jumper. I think he must have fell out with his girlfriend. Partner. <laughs> oh, I don't know what was going on there, but he actually wanted the words and he, he paid for it and we knitted it for him. Filthy whore mouth on a jumper. I think one of them to be able to do what you want when you want. That's why we're here this afternoon for a yeah. couple of hours. We'll be knitting all night now, about one o'clock in the morning. See, it's not just a nine to five job now, it's, um, it's like a 24 hour job. Mm. I would advise them to make sure you have a bit of something behind you because your first years are difficult. Mm. You know, you're going to have no money, you'll want to spend it on this, that, and the other and you won't have it, unless you've got something behind you to like back it up. So business now, and also television companies come to us when they want things we've done for uh, Sky Sports, the uh, South Bank Theatre, because what we do is quite bespoke. You can't just go to somebody that knits and says, can you knit with this jumper with such and such a thing on? You probably wouldn't even know how to do the pattern. Um, for the uh, theatre, it was uh, Dennis the Menace, and I did the jumpers for that. I've also done uh, jumpers for grave diggers when uh, Leicester um, Theatre was doing, um, I think it was Hamlet, something like that, and they wanted some grave digger tops which had lots of holes in them. That was quite good. Knitting's, knitting's easy. Uh, it's basically just um, two stitches, one knit stitch and one purl stitch. It just depends on how you interpret it, whether you do all knits, all pearls, all different uh, That's a different pattern, isn't it? The cable. But the basically, mustard. it's just two stitches. I was yeah. going to say, actually, one of the things you do need is patience. It's therapeutic. Yeah, I love it. It's uh, it's good for the mind. It it what's that? Uh, you just quiet away while you're knitting. It quietens yeah. the endless chatter in yeah. your mind. Yeah, you just knit. And, you know, there's times where you have to concentrate. But if it's just something plain. Because you know you do it as much as it's by feel and touch when you're experienced. You can literally just watch the television. And you can feel what you're doing while you while you're knitting. You can also drift off into your own thoughts as well. Do some designing in your head while you're knitting somebody else's. Or just nothing in your head. Yeah, just nothing. Just